So here we are in my greenhouse. I had to take this little white, uh, or I, well, I call it white, but the, most people call them yellow um, Montingia Calabora. One right here that we're gonna go ahead and pick and uh, sample. Uh, I did have a really huge tree in over here, but it died back, but luckily I was able to propagate it before I lost the other tree. So these are not really, these are difficult to grow from seed for me because they have just these super tiny seeds in here. We'll take a look at that and inside in just a sec. So there's this. Guy. Okay, guys, check it out. I've got, well, I've got one, two, three different fruits that we'll look at today. This is a small mammy sapote, and I've got my white jabba tacaba. This one I picked um, the other day. This is about, I'd say it's just about per perfectly ripe. These other two kind of forgot about them. They are a little bit overripe, but um, I think these taste just fine either way, uh, even though if they look kind of wrinkled. They look, it's funny, they look sort of like mini figs in, the, in a way, right? They look like a little fig. Here is my white, uh, I keep saying white, but it's a yellow uh, Montinga Calabra or Jamaican cherry. These get a lot bigger than this. This is from a small tree that I have out there where I just showed you. <clears throat> this is a overripe, um, uh, curry berry. So I've got this, um, and <clears throat> we'll check everything out. So maybe I'll go from, um, I guess we'll start with this one first. So here, let's take a look at the size of this fruit. This is the white chapa de caba. This is almost about two centimeters close to it two centimeters wide they're big um, these other ones shrank a little bit but so let's take a look these are I'll just kind of cut into it so you can see I like these fruit a whole lot I've had a few so See, it looks kind of gelatinous inside. And we've got the seed right here. I'll give it a taste. It's really good. Now, it's sweet. It's mildly tart, mostly sweet. Um, the fruit really hang on to the seeds. It's kind of like a mini santol, but as far as the way the fruit hang on there, or like a quinepa. Um, so you have to work on getting the fruit off of the seed. Now this one has three seeds in it, and um, pretty juicy. really tasty you have to eat a few quite a few of these to really um, get a lot of actual fruit uh, but my tree is finally becoming getting into production so uh, maybe that'll uh, with a lot of fruit I'll be happy with this but um pretty good so there's that one the next sweetest one here is this um, Jamaican cherry right in here we'll just slice into it it's got super it's gonna be hard to see them but there's tons of super tiny seeds in here that's all it is that all mixed in with the flesh okay so these taste like I can tell you already these taste like to me like cotton candy sorta of. let me go ahead and try this tastes like cotton candy you can vaguely um, notice the little crunch of the the seeds when you're eating this. And I know if I bring this close, it's gonna be hard to. It's gonna not gonna be clear. I need to. I need to get a macro lens. But so here's this. Uh, really good. Now here's this um, 
curry berry. I'll try that. This is really strong. Let's try this out. There isn't a whole lot of flesh on this either. So you've got the skin right here. Uh, there's a little bit of flesh in there. It's got a strong, I guess it's a, a true curry flavor. Um, and here's that green seed right there you can see. So I couldn't see, I mean, I guess you could have an acquired taste for this. It's got, I really don't know how to describe it, but it's got like this really strong, I guess pungent is the word for it. Um, I'm getting used to these berries. I can eat them. Uh, I like them. I just um, bite them into them, eat the little flesh, and then I've just been planting the seeds. So here's this one. Here's that on a white background. You've got a uh, little Jamaican cherry there. We've got these um, white Chepatacabas here. So let's try this seemingly giant fruit compared to these but this is really a small mammy sapote compared to the ones you normally would see this one's pretty pretty tiny so hopefully i didn't let this over ripen too much <clears throat> it's been a while since i had one of these last time i had one was in, in uh, hawaii so here's the fruit and let's take Get a taste of it. It's really soft to to get the fruit out. Well, actually, you're supposed to wait till it gets super soft like this. Now, tastes a little bit like a sweet potato. Um, it's good. A lot of people like these. These are not difficult to find. Um, like. In your international markets. I even had Mami Sapote ice cream, which is really good. I've got this big, humongous seed in here. I had, I had, um, look at that, it's so big. It looks like a oyster or a mussel, right? Might plant this out. But anyway, so here's this one. It's not bad. Usually a little bit of brighter orange. So there we go. There's that. So that is it for this little video. And all I wanted to share with you this time. And I'm gonna get out in the yard, show you what's going on um, out there. There's a lot, a lot happening, and I just need to get out there. But again, thank you for watching and spending some time with me.